Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday look for you. It's a classic winged eyeliner and red lip. I had a lot of fun shooting this look. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I'm starting off as usual by doing a neutral base all the way from my lash line all the way to the brow bone. So you can use a paint pot or a Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I just prefer using a eyeshadow to do my base. Next I'm going in with a precision brush. So this is kind of like a pointier crease brush, but it's also still pretty fluffy. And I'm just kind of drawing in the shape with a really light brown where I want the crease to be. So next I'm going in with a deeper brown. Just deepening and creating more definition in the crease. Next I'm going in to the inner corner of the eye and the lid. So I'm using all matte eyeshadows for this look. And then next I'm going in and just blending all of that out. So first you want to draw in the shape, then you want to deepen that shape with a darker brown. And now I'm going in and I'm blending that all together. Next I'm doing my brows, so I decided to use a powder and a pencil for this part. Powder is just going to give me like a softer finish and then the pencil will just go in and really define. You don't have to use two products, but I find for a look like this that's a little bit more full on, I really want the brow to be nice and finished and sharp looking. So for the winged liner, I'm using a sponge to kind of create that outer corner just so I know exactly where I want the flick to be. Then you're gonna draw a little triangle on the outside of your eye. You're gonna fill in that triangle, and then you're gonna line the lash line, and then gently build it up. So triangle, lash line, and then get it to the desired thickness that you want it to be. So this is kind of like a medium winged line. Then we're just gonna go in with some mascara, Next, I'm concealing. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal wherever you need it. And I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that out. I think that's the best tool to blend out concealer and foundation. It just really marries in the product with your skin. Next, I'm going in with a concealer to sharpen the edge of the eyeliner. So that's a good trick to use to get that eyeliner to look really crisp. You just wanna make sure you really blend that out as well. And you're not using a concealer that's a, little, a lot lighter than your skin because it'll just look really obvious. And yes, damp beauty blender to just blend that all together again. So next I'm going in with a powder puff just to set my foundation and concealer. I, found with, I find with the puff, it just really kind of gets a really good finish going. It really helps your makeup stay on a lot longer than a brush because it really just kind of like beats it in there. And I applied some false lashes. I like to use tweezers to do this because it gets you a really close application. Just be really careful with the tweezers. And then I like to squish my lashes and the falsies together with the tweezers as well. I'm going in with an angled brush now and just doing a really thin line of brown eyeshadow just at the bottom lash line. Light coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. 
Next, I'm going in with my contour color. So I'm just using a powder to contour. I like using powder personally just because it gives me a really natural finish, but you can use cream, liquid. For contouring, it really is preference. I just feel like with powder, for me, it just gives me a really natural finish. And I just want it to be like a light contour. I don't want to go into any really heavy contouring. So typically I use a liquid highlighter, but for this holiday look, I feel like powder is really pretty. It really shows up nicely on camera if you're taking photos. And I find that if you're out, you know, dinner or holiday parties and stuff, you want it to last as long as possible without worrying about it. So I feel like a powder is better just for longevity and not having to like touch up your makeup a million times. So I did above the Cupid's bow and uh, cheekbone. So red lips, you always wanna spend a little bit extra time um, applying your red lips. So it's not like a new lipstick where if you make some mistakes, you can kind of get away with it. Red lips are very obvious, of course, so you wanna make sure Doing it with a lip brush, I like to do the lipstick first and then do the liner afterward. That's just my preference. And my lips are just a little bit naturally uneven, so I have to take a little extra time to just make sure with a lip pencil that they're all good. Just take your time with red lips. I want to make sure they look perfect. Here's another little trick. I'm just doing some translucent powder over the red lipstick and liner. And then I'm gonna put another layer of my red lipstick on top of that. So that's gonna help it last really, really long. And I like having a really, really matte red lip. Personally, you can add gloss if you like, but this is gonna last way longer. And I just think it's a nice look. Next, I'm going in and cleaning up the lip shape with some concealer and a really tiny flat brush. Again, this is a very common trick. So it's gonna highlight the lips, but not only is it gonna highlight the lips, it's going to clean up all the edge of the lip. So again, there's no mistakes. And I also find it almost gives you like a little bit of lift in the mouth, if that makes sense. And again, I'm just going back in there and making sure all the lines are perfect. Going in and I'm just powdering where's, where I need a little extra. Okay guys, so that's the completed look. I'd love to see if you recreate this look, so tag me on Instagram at MakeupIB or you can send me a snap on the Snapchat at MakeupIB as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.